We're going to factor the given trinomial 2x squared minus 7x plus 5 using the box method of factoring. So first check if there isn't a GCF to pull out. Now looking at this, we see there is not a greatest common factor. There's nothing in common that we can pull out. Very well. So our first step then will be to write the first term, which is 2x squared, in our first box. Then we will write our last term in the last box. So here we have plus 5. Now, we want to multiply the coefficients. So in this case, 2 times 5 is 10. So we're going to look for all the factors of 10. All right, let's not worry about positives or negatives for a minute. Just look for the factors of 10. Well, we have 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. Now, we want the combination that will somehow give us a negative 7. Well, the only way to get 7 in general is somehow with 2 and 5, adding. Now, recall for a minute that the only way to get a positive number when multiplying is if you had a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. Now in this case we would need a minus 2 and a minus 5 to obtain negative 7. So these are the numbers that we're actually looking for. So we're going to fill that in right here. Minus 2x and minus 5x right in our remaining boxes. Now that we've done that we factor out the greatest common factor by the rows and then by the columns. So we have 2x squared minus 2x. So the greatest common factor there happens to be a 2 and an x. Since there's 2's in both and x terms in both and the one with the smallest power is this x here. Now looking at the second row we have minus 5x plus 5. Well the greatest common factor happens to be a 5. And I'm going to write minus 5 since this factor is touching this box and it contains a negative value inside. Now, we look at the columns. 2x squared minus 5x. Well, the only thing to pull out here is an x since we cannot pull anything out from our numbers here. So the greatest common factor here happens to be just an x. Now we look at minus 2x and plus 5. Well, it may not be readily apparent what it is that we can pull out, since really there's nothing in common other than 1 here, and there's no other x term in this second box. So 1 is the only thing that they have in common. So I'm going to write my 1 here. Now, in this case, it'll be minus 1, since the contents of this box inside contain a negative value. So now I have factored. Here are my terms. And I'm going to write them. x minus 1 times 2x minus 5. So I have factored using the box method of factoring and I have obtained my factored answer and it is factored completely.